innovative techniques that can be patented so i uh, request uh, divya ma'am to start as vc ma'am is not able to con uh, connect uh, yes uh, i request honorable vice chancellor ma'am she is there good morning ma'am and thank you so much for sparing your valuable time we have our resource person divya kaushik ji from uh, patent information center and technology innovation support center set up by uh, department of science and technology uh, i request our worthy vice chancellor ma'am to say few words from her busy schedule so that we can get started with this event thank you ma'am thank you dr siddu it is really a pleasure that uh, we are celebrating ipr week from april 26 to april 30th and i welcome uh, divya kaushik today so divya is uh, an old associate of the ishbhagat university i would say and uh, about divya abhi dr siddu she has just told us about her so uh, about the ipr i would say that uh, divya and her team they were you know uh, helping the team in patent filing in organizing awareness talks and in organizing various events like seminars and all and uh, uh, with the support of uh, punjab state council for science and technology and uh, other organizations the ipr cell is working today and uh, we have filed many Well, you know patents we have gone for iprs and we are trying our best that every faculty and every student of the campus they uh, participate in this and for this innovation and um, iedc we call it in idc is working hard to make people aware about the patents and we are going for design patents we are also going for um, many technological patents and we are working on the interdisciplinary areas and i'm sure that today's session will help my students to understand more about the patents to guide them about it and how they can go about it so it will be really uh, a thoughtful seminar um, thank you divya for being here and uh, i wish all the best for the organizers to dr siddu as well for organizing this uh, seminar in association with idc so it's going to be great good luck thank you thank you so much ma'am so with your kind permission we start with uh, ms divya kaushik ma'am's webinar thank you so much yeah please I, go i request divya ma'am to kindly start a very good morning to everyone and my sincere thanks to vc ma'am for uh, giving us the opportunity to celebrate ip day with a very important uh, university in the region uh, which has i'll say it's commendable how the leadership has taken forward the ip filing we have been receiving constant requests for patent searches and advisory services for various other filings so i am well aware how the ipr cell has taken a lead in creation of the ip portfolio for the university so with that aim we wanted to have a celebration of ip day wherein we try and motivate all the students and faculty members to understand this system and finally take the best use of it in their academic careers and finally taking their ideas to the market so with that aim we are here again to celebrate this very important day in a researcher's life that is world ip day wherein we are uh, you know uh, giving you a overview of the states and in my lecture today i've prepared a you know brief overview of the state's ip status as of date and how at the state level we are trying to connect the academia with the industry and finally take your iprs to the market so with the current years theme of ip and smes we wish to you know connect the dots of academia of industry msmes startups we need to connect all these dots to create a very useful successful model for the country uh, regarding ip monetization so i'll just uh, present my uh, ppt please let me know if it becomes visible and then we start there in yeah ma'am it's visible ma'am it's visible ji so uh, 
as ma'am uh, you know very generous generously uh, you know given my introduction i'm divya and i look after the patent information center and technology innovation support center at pscst and in my last 14 years career i've been trying to connect to all the you know stakeholders of the state regarding providing the you know in timed ip information and helping them file their you know iprs through various means so with that you know background of the center what we do at the state council in the you know recent times what we have done is we have tried to analyze how we stand as a state in terms of innovations so what we started with was looking at the global status where india is as compared to other countries we all know that you know gii index is released every year by ipo and cornell university so looking at the uh, you know growth pattern of the country in last few years it has been commendably and you know we have cl climbed up the ladder from 81th position in top 50 in the current year so there is a appreciable increase in the number of ranks we have earned in the recent past so definitely india is like one of the most innovative countries in the asian region for sure so now we wanted to you know see where as the say uh, as our own state is faring on the innovation index and looking at niti aayog's report again we see that we are you know doing very well on the enabling factors enabling factors wherein we are blessed to have uh, you know one of the best universities and a network of i'll say research institutions in the state but if we compare the same you know uh, uh, enablers with the output index we are yet to uh, achieve what is required and what is actually you know expected um, by having this strong enabler section so we as a state we are you know in the on the 10th rank and we actually need to push up this rank to at least in the first 5 in the coming year and ultimately we have to you know be the leaders i'll say in innovation sector as well in the country we have been um, you know leaders in providing food we have been leaders in fabrication so we need to push up this innovation index also and we have to be you know among the top leaders so with that if we compare what is the performance pillars i mean how we are being ranked as a state then the main knowledge output pillars are patents filed the design applications that are filed trademarks the coming up of new startups and even the grassroots innovations that are being filed from the state and if again we you know compare these numbers as compared to again you know the enabling i try to you know compare the enabling factors with the output factors so what uh, comparison i'll say what you know distinguishing uh, things that come out of the comparison are that though we have a very good strength in the research institutions in the business schools engineering colleges agricultural university msme you know sector working in the state but as compared to the number of these enabling factors when we compare the outcome of their research in terms of ip filing we see that the trend of filing is though it is increasing over the years but still there is a scope of you know much more enhancement in these numbers as we can see on the graph in the on my right side of the slide in the last 3 years when the you know annual report of the patent office has been referring to the numbers state wise we compared how we are faring with the other states mm -hmm. and the you know appreciation that we see from 2016 to 18 19 that is the most recent patent annual report available so we have you know uh, seen a good amount of appreciation on the numbers but of course if we see the strength the state has we are yet to achieve higher ta uh, targets or expected targets in the future chandigarh again being the region that is being served by the center for ipr needs has the highest doctoral enrollment in india but again if we look at the filing numbers we are yet to achieve the targets so with that mission again i'll say that there is a urgent need to celebrate these you know days like the ip day for motivating our researchers because of course you know the publications that they do the impact that they are creating in terms of research is of course ample so we need to map these research you know 
outcomes in terms of ipr portfolios again and for that let us now also you know look at some of the numbers how we fare on the major intellectual property things that we filed from the state so looking at at the patent publications in the last 10 years if we you know just happen to have a glance of the filing numbers then you can see a steep increase in the number of filing in the last 2 3, three years in the entire decade i mean if we compare the numbers was you know pretty constant in the first 5 years starting from 2010 to 2015 but after that we have you know created that kind of impact by help of our ipr sales you know the ipr sales now are very active in you know scouting out the research outcomes in terms of patent filings they are taking a lead in creating a fund for filing iprs yeah. beyond the government support schemes they are also <laughs> initiating the ipr policies in their universities to motivate the researchers for taking up you know the ip filing and commercialization so with that kind of a system enabled system in the state we are seeing a very good result but now this graph of filing has to be you know compared with the commercialization status of these patent applications and for that we urge everyone on board today to take you know your ideas to the market to take your ip filed to the market by way of ip commercialization so again the you know the major filings from the state have been through the academic institutions i you know again wish to thank all the ipr cells and the universities who have, who have taken the lead in you know filing these numbers and documenting their research in terms of ip but again i mean there's a huge scope as compared to the number of faculty members number of phd you know enrollments in the universities there's a huge scope of actually you know enhancing this number and finally taking these uh, research outcomes in form of a marketable product to the market the major domains of published patents uh, were you know mechanical engineering chemical computer science engineering so we see a very strong you know engineering uh, i'll say fabrication or engineering setup in the state we are yet to you know catch up on pharmaceuticals on biotechnology and all other biological re biology related domains but we are doing fairly well on the engineering side so these engineering things again have to go to the smes have to go to the industry in terms of their you know meaningful outcome in the form of a new product or improved product for the market and that is where we are lacking and that is where we have to really pull our socks and the reason i mean uh, you know uh, i'll say the major motivation for taking these things to the market will again be by the government's push for ip commercialization by giving various subsidies various you know um, schemes to file for your patents at no cost then again you know hand holding your applications towards ip commercialization by various other agencies showcasing the applications showcasing the technologies on uh, government platforms like agni like you know many other uh, public departments so i mean there is a lot of enablement from the government side wherein we can take the help and put these applications put these in intellectual properties to their rightful use in terms of industrial designs again you know there a special mention goes to dbu which has been you know looking af after other iprs equally i mean you know there are universities which understand the patent system very well they are you know into the filing of patents but in case of other intellectual property rights specifically in this Uh, you know industrial design domain i'll say there's again a huge scope if we look at the filing from the state in last 5 years only the filings are you know majorly being sourced by the industry or individuals the academic sector is hardly i mean it's a you know very small 23 applications in last 5 years coming from the academic institutions but looking at the scope of the fashion designing is um, uh, courses being run in terms of automobile engineering that is being taught to engineering students in terms of other you know art based courses being run in the other institutions there is again a huge scope wherein we can play a part in industrial design enhancement also the major filing in the industrial design has been by the cycle sector the you know 
um, the hub of the cluster being in Ludhiana, the Ludhiana district has filed major, you know, industrial designs in the last five years. And the numbers are almost, you know, constant and increasing in this sector in terms of industrial design filing. But then again, you know, in case uh, you look at the designs that are being filed, they are for the entire, you know, article as well as the sub parts which can be sold alone in the market. So again, I request everyone to look at the scope of these IP filing in terms of what you people do in your dissertations and research um, projects, wherein you, you know, you don't actually uh, look at improving the technology. Whenever you are, you know, done with the technological part, then a constant uh, input should also go in the improvement of the design. And if at all that is new, that can again be handholded for filing through the state council. There are some top industry players because, I mean, uh, relating to the theme, I picked up the industry players. But of course, there are the academic top players for IP filings in terms of industry. If there are Mahindra and Mahindra, Nectar Life Sciences taking the lead for patents, there are, you know, industrial houses like Hero Cycle, Shamsan Ipso Exports for industrial designs. In terms of academic filing, LPU and Chandigarh University taking a lead from the state in filing of their IPRs. But of course, I mean, you know, not only running towards the filing numbers, I'll say that the major focus has to be to take these innovations to the market through, you know, prototype development, through stepping up towards, you know, finalization of the market ready product and taking it to the market with the help of the relevant industry. So there's an urgent need that the academia should collaborate with the relevant industry. You can, you know, approach the nearest industrial clusters that are, uh, you know, having synergy with the innovation, um, I'll say, hub at your university. And that is how a successful collaboration can lead to a, a good technology that can be seen in the market. And that is the whole, uh, uh, you know, mission of um, celebrating IP days, celebrating innovations, and ultimately, you know, that is how we aim towards Atmanirbhar Bharat, taking everything that we do in a positive stride and innovating things in the right direction, wherein it can be taken up by the market. So with that background, with that kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, I'll say stock taking of the entire IP gamut, we at the state council under Mission Innovate Punjab, uh, that is like a specific mission that has been given by the state government uh, to the state uh, council for science and technology to steer the in economic growth ba based on the innovations that are coming from the state. So with this mission, we are trying to enhance the competitiveness, boost growth and create quality employment in the state. And within, under this mission, again, there are like, you know, several pillars that are acting to promote rural innovations, to promote academic innovations, to support collaborations between academia and industry. And finally, enhancing the, you know, capacities of the industry to reach out to the needs of the state. Under rural innovation, there has been, uh, you know, a rural innovation and application center in the Talwandi region which is supporting the grassroots innovation and the startups in the region. And it is now one of the uh, state of the art facilities that have been developed. We uh, of late are again, you know, focusing on our startups. I mean, you, many of you will be uh, aspiring startups from the university. So in that case, again, please be informed that we are again to support the techno technology intensive startups to help them identify their technological problems, to help them provide a good solution, to connect them with the you know, incubators and accelerators, and build up that kind of a synergy among these departments to create a successful enterprise in the state for employment generation,
did it happen just now okay okay I hope my screen becomes available again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so I'm sorry I didn't notice we lost the connectivity. So uh, I'll just you know repeat the last few minutes what I wanted to share. So basically, why uh, you know the major uh, I'll say mandate of discussing these IPR issues is that. we at the university level we need to understand that how we can use this system to the best benefit of our uni universities and academicians interest we actually have to look at the you know domain problems i mean if you are a mechanical engineer a faculty member or a student look at the machines that are available in the market if at all you can find out a technological problem from that look at the solutions that are available on the domain uh, i mean you know you can of course check the publications very well yourself so looking at the um, you know patent literature again will give you one of the major uh, you know uh, um, i'll say the closest prior arts that are available in that domain so you know gathering information from the patent and the non patent literature will help you to identify the right kind of approach to be taken in under your research project and if at all you know everything goes well there's a huge scope that you might end up in a um, in a newer you know technological improvement which can be patented and finally if that final you know technology goes to the market in form of a improved product or something so again other forms of intellectual property like industrial design trademarks they can be well integrated into the system to you know give a meaningful product back to the market in this event of you know in this sequence of events of course you your your institutions will get the patent application to your name to your credit which will help you in your growth as the institution will get is uh, goodwill the academicians will get uh, get their citations but of course if we look at the larger picture if the technology gets back to the market it will create a impact on your region it will give back uh, you know commercial benefits to the university it will bring a impact on the society as a whole so with that major you know um, aim we have to all take our research projects with the right kind of scientific approach towards solving that problem so not only patents i mean you know the uh, state looks at all the intellectual property rights equally so looking at the importance of um, other intellectual property rights besides patents we have been working closely with the geographical indication uh, authorized users as well we have been helping them to go for uh, authorized user reg registrations we have been helping the proprietors re renew their proprietorship on the authorized uh, on the gis so i mean holistically the center has been trying to you know uh, help all the stakeholders in the state to not only file you know not only to facilitate their filing but to create a impact out of their filing by successfully taking their intellectual property to the market by way or and means of ip protection and commercialization so that is uh, what i wanted to discuss today and wanted to motivate everyone taking the examples uh, from these successful commercializations that it is not one it is like any one or every one of us can do our bit we can all you know get back to our research projects in the right uh, manner to create that impact for that the state council has two centers particularly patent information center and technological uh, technology innovation support center under which we are able to provide you with the updated patent search reports or other ip search reports which will give you the idea regarding your patentability or you know the merits of filing for your other iprs like designs and 
trademarks etc we can provide you the search reports which will help you to you know um, um, to analyze the credibility of filing these iprs and ultimately after filing again through your ipr policies it is the best time that we you know venture into the startups the spin offs and ultimately take these things to the market for all these kind of ipr related supports please feel free to contact state council we are there as the node of the <clears throat> state and center to help you in all these kind of issues we will try to connect you with the right kind of stakeholders like uh, you know if you at all you want to pop popularize your technologies we can connect you with agni for you know showcasing your technologies on the platform we will try and give you more visibility in terms of you know the industrial meetings that happen around the state so the right kind of people can be uh, you know connected with the industrial partners for understanding the you know potential and the scope of taking that kind of technology to the industry so all these things can be taken forward with the help of you know a synergy that gets created among the academic institutions industrial institutions as well as the government so let us all pledge together on this auspicious day of ip day to collaborate and to prosper on all fronts and with that i'll rest my presentation today because i'm you know i was not trying to get into the details of what is ip or and i understand that the university has created that uh, kind of vision internally that we are all aware what is a patent and you know how to go about it if at all there is something that is innovative in your mind do contact us we'll be happy to help you in all sorts of matter but i'll rest my presentation today here and uh, you know i'm open for any kind sort of questions if at all the faculty has or the students have but with the uh, you know final urge that let us all take our ips to the market through ip commercialization thank you Uh, thank you divya ma'am thank you and uh, i really thank you for uh, on behalf of desh bhagat university that you have spared your valuable time although you were very busy but uh, you had our request we are very thankful i asked my students if they have any query they want to ask any of the student want to ask something anything you want to know yes students please hurry up Yes, Diksha, you can ask whatever you want to ask. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Diksha. Ma'am, uh, I want to ask that uh, unique products are available, right? Can we apply for geographical indicator and how? Okay. So see, all the intellectual property rights they have some basic differences in terms. like you know every ip will protect a certain kind of a work intellectual work so if we talk about gis they protect the characteristic that that product attains by way of the geography in which it is being developed or grown right if i take a example from punjab we help file for fulkari that is a, a unique embroidery that is being done in the region of punjab right so this ip again is different and unique in having a community ownership in that sense a patent can be owned by individual patent can be owned by a university but in a geographical indication if we talk about that is a community right so the entire region under which it gets you know made and it is being manufactured in the state that entire region becomes the uh, owner of that ip Yes. Everyone in that region who is making fulkari can opt for a authorized user certificate. They can become authorized users and will have legal rights over that GI to take it forward. So in that sense, if we want to file a GI, so it has to be one filed in the name of some association, some you know association that is closely involved in manufacturing, in trading, in selling of that particular product. products can be like we all know about darjeeling tea fulkari from punjab kanjivaram sarees so all these things are gis because they have that specific characteristic because of that particular geography where they are being developed 
right so number one point becomes that a association needs to be identified who will you know file for that particular gi second that product has to be you know connected with that geography so if you want to file for certain gi through your local association so you have to identify that this product has a uniqueness because it is being made grown or you know cultivated in this region so these these are like the specific details of you know uh, i'll say there are details in each and every ipr that you wish to file and in case of any filing please feel free to contact my office because we can again discuss case to case there is like you know huge scope all these things being legal issues so they have to be taken care at the case to case level if you want to file a gi things are different if you want to file for an, any other ip like patent or designs things are different there are criterias there are things to be taken care of so we can take each and every you know um, detail and finally help you through the filing process okay thank you ma'am Divya ma'am, I have a query. Uh, number yes, of things are there because I can't openly discuss on the platform. I will uh, discuss with you later. Yes. Number of things are there that can be uh, taken as GI, but the persons who are doing with that thing, they are not aware that they can go for GI. Then how how the person can help them? Suppose we are from the university and we want that this we have an idea that they can go for GI. so how we can um, communicate with them and we can go for the further gi work ma'am again i'll say the ipr cell has a huge scope in promoting these gis from the region see uh, many a times like for example if i talk about fulkari most of the artisans are women women who are like uh, uh, you know i'll say inhabiting in the rural regions who are hardly you know literate they are just you know making fulkaris in their homes and finally selling it off so that kind of you know challenge can be taken by the ipr cell people if you are aware of any potential gi product in your region kindly just talk to their industrial association or any sort of association that is you know controlling that particular product let us find out the history of that product how it was you know being made in that particular region what are the characteristics how it you know qualifies under the gi act and if at all it is a potential case then state council can help them file for their gi so you people can be i mean you can you know take the role of a enabler you can be a connecting point you can help them to identify we can uh, you know organize awareness program we can you know help you in facilitating ip you know filing so that kind of support we can do and you people at the local level you can take a lead in approaching them finding the right person connecting them with the state council so that kind of i mean again the need of synergy uh, is what i can say is need to be developed and that synergy can do wonders for the state right right thank you another one one point that other than have i my, my colleague applied for a trademark for some of the product but ma'am we were going for some of the name for that trademark uh, time in again we got the response that uh, this name already exist can we have the list that we can we are able to know that these names exist uh, already exist, so we opt for some other name yes in fact that is what i was talking about when i said that we can help you in the ip searches can you know in, if it all you wish to file for a trademark then one the trademark office again you know i mean the intellectual property office of india again has a database wherein we can search for our trademark if we wish to file for let's say any kind of a logo or a name for example if i want to you know protect lakme for instance so i can just go to the database and check whether or not this name has been already registered protected objected or anyhow it has been ever filed in the patent office or not so if at all you people at the state uh, you know um, dbu you people are able to access that database i can you know give you a initial uh, links and training otherwise feel free to send that query to my office and we'll be happy to give you back a trademark search report so based on that report you'll know that okay these things are already available and you know how close are we to the registered trademarks because anyhow a uh, closely you know i'll say phonetically similar sounding trademark is not allowed or maybe yeah. you know 
the spellings are somehow somewhat different then the trademark office will again object to such kind of trademarks so i mean there is like a scope of improvement at that level if we get a good search report and file for the final trademark thereby saving our fees of multiple filings as well as prosecution times get you know decreased if there is no objection to it right ma'am thank you so much anybody else pity anybody else want to ask something okay uh, one of the student has written that how agricultural products can be patented see uh, so patent is something which is not you know barring any particular technology if we say what is a patent a patent will uh, uh, you know safeguard your technology in terms of improved you know product or a process so that product can be agricultural product and that process again can be something related to agriculture so if we particularly talk about agriculture then any implement for example a improved harvester chopper maybe a deep seeder so these kind of machines if they are improvised versions of what is available in the prior art so that those things can be applied for a patent so we can claim the improved part only right for example if i talk about harvester so any improvement in the harvester that will be my claim in my application so i am not thereby claiming the entire harvester i am just claiming my invention to that then talking about the product agricultural product we will not be able to you know uh, actually file for a patent for wheat for rice or the plant per se because those things get filed under the plant variety protection act and they don't get a patent in india but again the any sort of machinery that helps in the agriculture that can be filed for a patent coming to the food products i mean again they they'll be like secondary agriculture and not directly agriculture so if you happen to produce any new snack product or any food article which is new novel having some you know uh, technical advancement so those things again can be filed for a patent for example there are you know uh, certain i'll say uh, namkeens and uh, uh, variants of oats and things like that if at all there is some technological intervention in that so those kind of things can be filed for a patent and technologies if we talk about agricultural technologies so technologies will be in terms of these uh, implements i'll say because there is a specific uh, provision in the patent act prohibiting any you know method of agriculture to be protected thereby meaning that you will not be able to protect that how we should sow the seeds how it has to be you know watered after certain period of time so this kind of method of agriculture will not be patented but any sort of machinery sensor used for drip irrigation or things like that which have technical strength in terms of improvement in the technology they will be filed for a patent is uh, dear student any anyone else or any faculty member okay thank you so much so on behalf of the faculty of agriculture and life sciences and patent cell as well as idc cell of deshpagat university i extend my thanks to dia ma'am because she was so busy but still uh, she has guided the students and the faculty in a very simple manner uh what is the basic trend the patent ipr and how we can contribute as an academicians in this field and going for better research uh, coming out with some novel ideas that can uh, can be commercialized in the market so thank you ma'am so much for giving your time uh, we really thank you for sparing your uh, time on this occasion and we assure you to conduct such event and i have two three queries that i will send to your office uh, so thank you so much and i will always guide my students to be motivated with your uh, ipr policies and whatever you have discussed so that we come out with fruitful ideas in the future thank you so much thank you all the students it department and all the faculty members to the management and vice chancellor once again i thank the resource person of the day i thank punjab state council for science and technology thank you so much ma'am thank you everyone for your patient listening and let us all be innovative and promote innovations in our institutions with that i sign off thank today you. and look forward to your requests for filing from the university 
um, to build up your IP portfolio. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.